dude, writing and talking about things is pretty hard to do. I'm not going to lie. Hats off to those dudes that can, like, tell you a story and uh, pay attention to the road at the same time. This road through here is pretty bumpy, so I'm not ragging on much. I haven't ridden this bike a good bit, which is why I am thinking of selling it. That's the South Saluda. My family uh, on my mom's side used to own like all the property from Table Rock what's now Table Rock State Park to uh, beyond where we currently live which is nuts it's, it was like four or five thousand acres and uh, he owned the top of the mountain uh, on Table Rock and there's a story when they turned it into a park he helped the guy that buy it uh, he helped the guy that he leased it to a dude uh, like Sutherland or something and uh, they carved steps into the uh, the rock up there and the steps are still there so uh, it's really cool to go up there and hike up to the top and see like what my great 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 grandfather did Always neat. Always neat to see that. I did not know there's a road right there. Strange. Myself, but maybe you can hear me, maybe not. I just finished like a 800 mile Harley road trip to Florida, so I've got to get used to riding a tiny bike again. I'm not blasting shit today. Because I have no idea how these roads are. And Caesar's Head sometimes can be pretty shitty. Especially certain parts of it, you just you can't really well through there. But I don't really well well too hard anyways. Sometimes cops sit like right there. Nobody today. I'm not a great rider, right, but I always just try to be smooth, and usually, like, it gets better. Uh, a lot of dudes will come up here and try to be Rossi, uh, or it'll go to my other favorite road, and I'll take you there at some point, 178. But they don't have any track experience, and uh, neither do I, so I'm not knocking them or anything. But they just try to go a little too aggressive for most people, or for some, for some of these roads at least. Alright, fucking stay there. Stay there. Alright, here we go. Congested area on the weekends. I've got my jeans on, 
so I'm not going nuts. I've only seen one MotoGP race this season, so it's you know it's not even. I'm not even hyped up yet. But I do have something to catch up on. I know there's like there've already been two races, and there's like uh, somebody. I think there's another race this weekend, maybe potentially. Mark Marquez is back. I'll say this, I'm not bullish on Marquez this season. I'm just not. He's been injured, he hasn't been on a bike. I mean, if anything's <laughs> if we've learned anything about Marquez is that like the dude will absolutely ride the shit out of that Honda. You know, and just murder everybody. But I think his time's up, man. Uh, I really do. He's just... This is where it's fucking... This is where it's off. But I, I, I don't think that he's got much. Like, dude, just... He's had a lot of injuries, man. Like... If you get a lot of injuries, you're kind of fucked. And that's sport. I mean, he's a boss, though, so... Ah, we'll see. Yeah. It's kind of chilly up here. This is where uh, the road gets real terrible. So you have to kind of stay on the outside because it's just like this road, man. And you got to cut here. It's pretty awful. I don't know if they'll ever repave this road. It's so it's so traveled. They'd kind of have to, like, just do it in a lot of sections, but there's just tons of potholes. But the main reason is, is South Carolina, and, you know, shit will never get fixed. Like, ever. Fucking God. I love how there's tons of cracks in the mid turns and, and water mid turns. It's pretty great. I'm gonna switch over here. And fucking go this way. And there's more here and out and in. And holy dick. This is usually where I turn around. Ugh. Usually, anyways. It was a good bike, but um, I'm thinking it's probably going to get sold because.
just because I think like I don't have time to ride three different bikes I work full time as a freelance copywriter and um, I find myself writing writing more than writing and uh, when I bought the bike and another one and the other one I had a lot of time uh, especially weekends but I, I usually work a lot on weekends um, working deadlines I mean sometimes like today it's kind of light like I might have some stuff to do later on but like right now it's that's not the case at all so and um Honestly, I'm becoming more of a Harley guy, of a cruiser guy. I never thought I'd say that. Uh, I grew up with them. Dad always had them, and I rode on the back of them. But I fell in love with, like, racing and shit. And, like, uh, Dragon Knee, that kind of shit. Um... I was say, man, like, when I first got, when I bought my first Harley a few years ago, I was like, uh, immediately I got it. I was like, oh, you can still have fun on a bike and be comfortable and warm and uh, have room and you can carry shit and you can, like, just crush fucking miles and just ride all day. And, um, like the sport bikes and stuff, they're pretty limited. Yeah, they're, they're definitely fine. I'm not anti sport bikes or anything, but by no means. Just weaving through these fucking potholes. But like I got a supermoto at home that is much more forgiving and cheap and simple. It's paid for. So is this, but you know, if I wreck that one, I wouldn't feel so bad. If I wreck this one, I'd probably go I'd probably shit myself, honestly. I'd really hate to do that. I think if you're going to buy a, if you're getting into like sport bikes, and I'm saying that very broadly because uh, like I don't mean what people call crotch rockets. Let me just explain what a crotch rocket is real quick. This is not a crotch rocket. If you disagree with me, because my, because the foot controls are behind me, uh, I think you're misunderstanding what a crotch rocket is like. It's like looking at a cruiser, right? And going, oh, that's a Harley. When, in fact, it could be a Triumph. Or like a Honda Shadow. Or, uh, like, a V-Star or whatever. Like, or, you know, call a, uh, call a guy on a Triumph Rocket 3 like a slow Harley rider and see what fucking happens. He will he will eat you leave you in the fucking dust, man. So what's a what's a crotch rocket? Crotch rockets are it's really not a bike. It's really more of the type of rider. A crotch rocket rider typically has an older sport bike with, you know, full fairings, clip-ons and stuff. But what they do, they don't keep it stock. They stretch the swing arm out, they put lights and shit on it, uh, effectively ruin its God-given purpose in life, which is to handle beautifully around corners. Uh, and crotch rockets are not normally found in the mountains. They're normally found you know where the Flatlanders live, and they go to bike nights. Uh, they don't wear 
helmets, they wear like flip flops and shit, and uh, listen to mumble rap. Those are uh, those are what crotch rockets are. The sport bike is largely kept stock minus performance upgrades, tires, maybe an exhaust, maybe a tune. But most of those pure sport bike riders, they're going to spend their money on tires and track days. Not fucking exhaust, not tunes. Uh, you know, there are guys that will take a Ninja 400 and will embarrass a guy on like a brand new Jixxer 1000 in the mountains. Because he's a he's an actual sport bike rider and not a not a poser that can just like finance a bike. You know what I mean? The best bike is one that's paid for, and it's it's one you're comfortable with riding. You know what I mean? 